Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here and welcome to what might be the final video on Aria Story 2.0. We're going to be pursuing the two new endings that you can only find in the updated version of Aria Story in 2.0 and also the introductory to a new character who looks similar to Aria. Huh? This is... My room. Now I'm recording this just after recording the previous video on the normal ending, bad ending slash true ending, and the true ending. No, bad ending slash perfect ending, and then the true ending. My bad. So, normal, bad slash perfect ending, true ending. <laughs> my, why is my room in this place? This is the center of this library. It's very practical. You can access any area from your room. But this is only a copy. Your real room is in your world. Keep butchering certain letters or words there. What's this? A photo? Huh? No, I don't understand. That's impossible. I don't remember this. Uh, my head. Ugh, it hurts so much. Ah. Uh, are you okay? Uh, wait. I'm going to look for help. You don't need to do that. I'm fine. You've obtained a photo. Let me take you to the exit. Hmm. I hope you feel better soon. Adutu. Look at all this stuff. You okay? I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. That was a bit different. What are you doing here? Luane, did you open this door? I told you not to open it. Uh. Answer me. Did you open the door? I didn't open the door. You didn't open it. Mm. Mm. All right. Take this. I found the key to that door. You've obtained the rusty key. I want to give you back the knife. By the way, are you feeling better? I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. Hmm. So this door will always be a mystery. My hypothesis in the previous episode of thinking that the new two endings to Aria Story 2.0 being linked with this door is nullified. Hmm. I wonder how this is going to play out. Uh. Stop it! Huh? You don't need to cross that bridge. Throw me your knife. Huh? What are you saying? I know you're afraid of heights. I'll take care of this. That's too dangerous. Please, Luane. I trusted you when you saved me from that doll. Now I want you to trust me. I can do this. You wanted me to borrow your knife before in case anything happened, right? Well, I need it now. Okay, here you go. Toss. You've obtained Luane's knife. Leave me alone. I won't stay here. I'm going to keep going until the end. If possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. But if you don't get out of my way, I won't hesitate to use this. Eh? They left. Oh yeah. Are you hurt? I'm fine. That was different. I'd load the game back up because those scenarios were different. Thanks for lending me the knife. I'm glad I didn't have to use it. You surprised me. I didn't expect you to be able to do something like that. You seemed almost like a different person. I'm surprised too. I don't really understand what happened. Maybe you inspired me to be braver. I see. Definitely... Definitely different. Doesn't mean the rest of this will be different in a ways. That's the same. Hmm... Who knows in these tales? That's definitely the same. 
I was just thinking that it would play out as the same, but it's not. So that's why I just try to skim through, but that's not going to be the case at all. What do you think? Which library do you like the most? The same criteria as the true ending, except that we chose to lie to Luane back there. Which means it won't be the true ending. But one or two other endings. <laughs> I see. I think both libraries have a kind of charm to them. Well then, I think we're getting close to the end. Don't give up, dear. But wait, I need to talk to you. The talking will come later, Arya. In due time. Arya. Do you believe that rules are meant to be followed or broken? Rules followed. Hmm. Following through with that. I see. That's what you think. I think the exit's near. Our world is waiting for us. For all this dialogue, you are leading us to the normal ending. Clyde. But unfortunately, with this route, it is, it is impossible. It is, it is impossible. One more time. Once upon a time, there was a quill with the power to create and erase whatever was written with it. People wanted to have this powerful object, and so they waged war to have it in their hands. To keep it from falling into the wrong hands, a family took it upon themselves to hide it away and protect it for generations. Since then, the whereabouts and knowledge of the quill has become lost to time. Indeed, they have, signifying the importance of this item within this scenario. It is very important indeed. Clyde once more. Let's say you finish reading a book that you really like, but you hate the ending. Huh? What about it? What would you do if you can change that ending? Would you change it? or respect what the author has written. I wouldn't change it. I would respect the author's wishes. Also, if I was able to change the story itself, then it's no longer the author's original piece. Hmm. So you say. <laughs> Sorry for asking you weird questions. I promise it is the last I'll ask you. Fine, wait. Don't worry, that will be the last time. What's awaiting now, folks? Such. Such is the truth. I cannot believe it. Now I understand. Hmm. Here we are. What's going to be different this time around? Oh, yeah, we've been waiting for you. What? Oh, yeah? I thought you disappeared. You've been worried. You were worried for my sake. I hadn't disappeared. I was teleported to this room. But finally, all four of us are reunited. Now we can go back to our world. We just have to open that door. We're not buying it. Wait. Hmm. Hmm? Did something happen, Clyde? Please tell me the truth. The truth? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Luane. I lied to you. I opened the pink door and I found this photo. No! This again. <laughs> this photo was taken six years ago, the day when us four became friends. I don't understand how I could forget something as important as this, but now I remember it all. When I went to the library for the first time, I met a young writer and we became friends. We were always together. That writer's name was Luane. 
Later on, we met a storyteller whose personality changed every day, but learned that she didn't need to act like anyone else to make friends. Her name was Delia. Lastly, we met Clyde, the son of a librarian. There was a boy who hated books, but was taught that they were marvels and was able to become a new librarian. This photo has given me the chance to remember many things. I remember we all laughed together, how we played together, how we read together, and I also remember... I remember my own death. N no! <laughs> what are you talking about? That can't possibly be true. You must be tired. Let's go back to our world. That's enough. I don't want you to keep hiding the truth from me. Clyde, you shouldn't keep hiding it. I agree with Delia. If you don't tell the truth, then I will. Uh. Clyde! Do you know what this is? My family has hidden away this quill for generations, keeping it from falling into the wrong hands. It was hidden away in a secret room in the library, behind a bookshelf. The librarian takes it on the role of protecting it. This quill has the power to create and erase what is written within it, with it, sorry. and so it had to be hidden away. But even then, I decided to break some rules. I used this quill to write your, so to write you back into existence. Back into existence? What do you mean? As you know, you died a month ago. We were all heartbroken and we couldn't believe what happened. I tried to bring you back with this quill, but it didn't work. This only has the power to create an erase. It can't resurrect a real person. Meanwhile, Luane started writing a book. He barely slept and ate. He became obsessed. And as a result, he forced his hand too much and injured it, which is why he wears that bandage. Daddy and I became worried about him. We needed to find out what he was writing about. It was a book about you and your adventures in the library. But, but that's... Yes. This world is based on the book that Luane wrote. And I made it a reality using this pen. So I put the three of you in this fake world. And gave you new memories to forget the harsh truth. Luane, the original author, was able to remember everything. And so did Delia. My goal was to see if you were able to act like the real Arya, so you could replace her. So all four of us could go back to our world. <laughs> I suppose my plan was stupid. I'm sorry. I was so selfish. I'm sorry. Clyde. So that's what happened. Now I understand. Hmm. I clearly remember the moment of my death, but I couldn't understand why I was still alive. I thought it had been just a nightmare. What do you remember from that day? I remember I went to a forest that's near the library to pick out some flowers for your birthday. While I was making a flower crown, I heard a noise, and then the last thing I saw was an arrow. Hmm. Your parents told us that you didn't come back home that night, so we split up and went to look for you. I was the one who found you in the forest. You were lying on the ground with a flower crown in your hand, and an arrow piercing your heart. It's just what I imagined. Why did that happen? Wasn't that forest supposed to be safe? It's illegal to hunt there. My family also takes care of protecting the forest. But, that day, there was a hunter illegally hunting for animals. One of his arrows reached you. The police tried to find the culprit, but the hunter ran away. We don't know who did it. That means I died because of another person. Yes. This is so frustrating. 
that person stole my future. And didn't even have the courage to recognize it. There were still so many things I wanted to do. Because of that person, I... It's so unfair. Aria. I want to keep living. I don't want to leave you guys yet. You can do it. I have done everything possible so you can continue living. I will change everyone's memories. Nobody will remember that day. Thank you. But that's not possible. I'm not Arya. You are. You are just like her. The real Arya is in her grave. This life belongs to her. I'm not human. I'm not real. Just like everything that's in this library. For us, you're real. What does it matter that you? So, what does it? Yeah, what does it matter that you're not human? You're our friend either way. Friend? I'm your friend. Of course you are. What's on your mind? I want to stay by your side, but I don't want to replace Arya. If it's true that you're okay with me not being a human, I would like to keep living. Aria, what do you mean? I don't think you should be calling her Aria anymore. Huh? Luane, I see you understand what I mean. Do you think my idea is selfish? Even if it were, that's not a bad thing. Who said you can't ever be selfish? That already makes you different from Aria, which is what you want. Luane! Um, do you mind explaining to us what you're talking about? I want to continue living, but I don't want to be Arya. I want to be my own person. Your own person? I want to live like a normal human, but I don't want to be a replacement for Arya. I want to live my own life. Even if you say that, you're still identical to Arya. That's not entirely true. She doesn't act exactly like Arya. I've noticed quite a few differences. Mm -hmm. What differences? She lied to me. You told us you hadn't opened the door, but that was a lie. The real Arya would never have lied about something like that. What she did, when she did something wrong, she admitted it. Now that you mention it, it's true. Besides, do you remember when that doll wanted to attack us? I told you to escape and you did it. Arya would have stayed with me anyway, so as not to leave me alone in this situation. Or that situation. And that wouldn't have ended well. You trusted me. But what really made me realise that you were different was when you decided to use my knife. For a moment you seemed like a different person. You're more stubborn, but also less naive than the real Arya. Those are subtle features of your true personality, hidden under Arya's personality. But they exist, and that means you can be different. Really? Why would I lie about something like this? Wait a second, Wayne. I asked her some questions to confirm that she is indeed the same as Arya. I even told Delia to tell me everything she said. She hmm. did. And you really think some questions are going to tell you how a person really is? I am the one who's been by her side all this time. I can confirm that she is not exactly the same as Arya. I tried to kill her several times so that all this could end because I knew she wasn't real. But in the end I couldn't do it because I wanted her to continue living. She isn't Arya. You wouldn't be able to kill her. She can't die in a normal way. For her to die she must be erased with the quill. In fact, I'm the one who killed Arya. Clyde, we already told you many times that you didn't have to feel guilty about her death. It wasn't your fault. Nobody could have predicted it. But Arya went to the forest because I mentioned I liked those flowers. She wanted them to be a gift for my birthday. If I hadn't said anything, Arya would still be alive. And none of this would be happening now. Hmm. That's why I want to fix my mistake. There's nothing to fix because it wasn't your fault. Stop blaming yourself. Clyde, I understand how you feel. I know you want me to replace Arya, but it's not what I want. It's not who I am. 
If you won't accept my decision, I'll understand. But then I'll ask you to erase me. Erase you? I can't do something like that. Then you will let me live without replacing Arya. Do you accept my decision? I. I do not accept your decision. You won't accept. What are you saying, Clyde? Why? I'm sorry. I did all of this for Arya, for the real Arya. I don't care if you want to continue living as somebody else. But Arya should live too. That's been my goal all this time. If you're not Arya, then everything I did was useless. But she doesn't want to be a replacement for Arya. You can't force her to be someone she doesn't want to be. I know. If that's what she wants, I accept it. She can do whatever she wants with her life. But I can't give up. Arya should live. She can't die yet. That's something that I refuse to accept. So I have to keep trying. I'll have to find a way for Arya to come back to life. I think this is enough. You tried it, but it didn't work. We understand how you feel. And accepting her death is hard. But we need to get over it. Otherwise, you'll just keep hurting yourself. I have the power to change her fate. I got this quill. I'll keep fighting for her. And what are you planning on doing? Are you going to keep making copies of Arya? It doesn't matter how many times you try that, a copy will never be the real Arya. Who said I was going to make another copy? <laughs> I have a different plan prepared in case this one didn't work. A different plan? What are you going to do? I will revive the real Arya. That's the only way. But you say the quill couldn't revive a real person. Yes, that's true. I already tried, but nothing happened. Then it's impossible to bring her back. There's a different way to do it, huh? I reached the conclusion that I can't change the present. Present. I can't create another Arya. But if I can't change the present, then Clyde, will you be trying to change the past? <laughs> then I'll change the past. The past? What are you talking about? I'll use the quill to rewrite the day of Arya's death. If I change the past, the present will change automatically. What? If I can avoid her death in the past, the real Arya would be alive in the present. <laughs> Isn't it a fantastic idea? It's a terrible idea. That's way too dangerous, Clyde. Changing the past isn't a good idea. No, it is not. It's possible that you can avoid Arya's death, but something worse could happen. Worse than Arya's death? There's nothing worse than that. Why don't you want to save her? I don't understand. We are friends. Because we believe accepting her death and moving on with our lives is the best option. Clyde, listen to me. Why does your family hide for Quill? Because it would be dangerous if it fall, fell in the wrong hands. Will you use it any time you want to change something that you don't like? In the end, you'll be the one of those selfish people who want to use it for their own benefits. I've already lost a very important friend. I don't want to lose you too. Please don't use the Quill anymore. Dahlia! Please Clyde, don't change the past. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I can't. I need to do this. Uh. Clyde, stop it. Don't do it. Huh? I can't move. Me either. Clyde, let us move. Please, Clyde. I think this is the best for everyone. I hope you can forgive me. I will rewrite that day. I'll avoid Arya's death. No, stop it. If we do that, this Arya will also disappear. Clyde, please, no. Clyde. Huh? What happened? This is my room. I came back to the real world. That means I managed to change the present. Arya, 
I need to see Arya. I must hurry. She should be there. Oh, Clyde, good morning. Are you feeling better? Your father told us you were sick, and that's why he was in charge of the library today. I'm glad to see you're fine. Arya, you're alive. I'm... This is the worst thing to say in this scenario. <laughs> you can't imagine how happy I am. Eh? Clyde, are you sure you're all right? Maybe you should have stayed in your bed to rest a bit more. Yes. I'm all right. I just had a nightmare. Delia and I were going to visit Luane just now. Do you want to come with us? Visit Luane? Yeah, I'll go with you. Let's go. This is lovely so far, but where's the bad... What does this mean? Where? I always try to come with a smile on my face, but when I get here, I can't avoid crying. It's okay, Arya. Cry all you need. But I want the Wayne to see my smile, not my tears. I'm sure he appreciates your efforts. Why? The Wayne is... Why did this happen? It was my fault. The Wayne went to the forest in my place because I was sick. I'm the one who... Dear, I'm the one who should be dead. Arya, don't say something like that. This isn't what should be happening. A month has already passed, but I still can't believe Luane is no longer with us. This is so cruel. I miss him so much. Luane, no. This isn't what I wanted. Eh, Luane, it isn't fair. I won't allow this to happen. Luane. This is going to continue, Clyde, whether you like it or not. Nobody will die. Clyde, what are you saying? Maybe I made a mistake while rewriting the past. This time I won't make any mistakes. I'll rewrite that day again. And then it will be Delia. And then it could possibly be you. We're back here. I'm in my room again. This time it's impossible for you to may have made any mistakes. I made sure to have written it correctly. It's impossible for anybody to have died that day. I need to hurry to the library. Delia won't be there. Aha! Uh -huh. Knew it! There they are! But Delia's not. Duane, Are you alright? I'm okay. You're the one who's supposed to be sick. Are you feeling better? I'm glad everything went well now. Wait, where is Delia? Delia? She's probably in heaven. We can visit her later. I want to buy her a flower banquet. Good idea. No, please, no. Delia, no. Not you. No, no, no. No! <laughs> Clyde is starting to understand why this is happening. Or what is happening. He cannot change the past. If he tries to change the past. Then the person who will be in the forest. Will be another person in our game. Delia. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You were right. It wasn't a good idea. I'm just hurting everyone. I understand now. I understand why it isn't working. The quill doesn't have to have the power to revive someone. Uh, in order to make the past that I wrote a reality, the quill takes the life of somebody else in turn for bringing Arya back. The quill takes anybody that I appreciate as much as Arya. No matter how many times I try to rewrite the past, somebody I love will die. Is it true that I can't do anything? No. I just wanted, I just wanted all of us to be happy again. But it doesn't matter what I do, this won't work. Delia, what should I do? Now I must decide who dies. It's impossible. 
I can't choose something like that. All of them are important to me. <laughs> now you're going to do the ultimate sacrifice, aren't you? You're going to ensure that you are the one in there. That's the solution. It's very simple. Why didn't I think of it before? I should have done that since the beginning. If to revive Arya, I have to sacrifice someone who's important to me, it's clear who I'll pick. We can't all be together, but you can all move on and be happy. This is my final decision. In order for everyone to live, I, I will. I will write my own death. Ah. It continues to be a rainy day. Bad ending too. There's no fourth wall breakages this time in this bad ending. Wow. So, for the other decision, we choose to accept rather than don't accept. Clyde. Then will you let me live without replacing Arya? Do you accept my decision? I accept your decision. Thank you. That's not a decision that Clyde should make. You're the only one who should decide on your own life. If you want to erase yourself, we will accept it. If you want to live, we'll also accept it. I agree with Luane, but there's a problem. You have the same memories, personality and appearance as Arya. Even if you keep on living, you'll still be Arya. Then I'll just have to change. Change? Yes, I already thought about it. Clyde. I want you to erase my memories about Arya's life. Please, erase my whole past from my mind. You want me to erase everything? That would mean you... Yes, I will live as someone with amnesia. But from now on, I will create my own memories and become my own person. But you may end up remembering the truth again. This time I have to modify the memories of all the people who knew Arya and created this place from scratch. Managing all this at once was already very hard for me. I didn't have enough strength to do it. That's why everyone was able to remember the truth. <laughs> but if we only have to manage the memories of one person, there will be no problem. Besides, to make sure there won't be any problems, a real writer will use the quill this time. You want me to use the quill? I'm not a writer. We need her to be as human as possible. Only a real writer can do it. Mm. Would you be okay with it? Yes, that's what I want. But there's something that worries me. If I become a different person, maybe we won't be friends anymore. I could have a terrible personality. We all have very different personalities and we are still friends. If I can be friends with someone as cold as Luane, I can be friends with anyone. If I can be friends with someone as annoying as Clyde, I can be friends with anyone. What matters is that you'll be happy, even if it's not with us. I see. Oh, I just figured this out. Arya. Arya is going to be rewritten as the new character. I've just got this fathomed out. Arya won't be Arya anymore. She will be the new character. Are you sure that my, that my idea is possible? It may be very complicated. It's complicated, but I like chain challenges. Before using it, I will study this quill thoroughly. Clyde, I need your help with that. <laughs> of course, I'll teach you everything I know. I'll study everything I need to make sure everything goes well. I'll make you as human as possible. I want you to grow, feel, and die without always relying on the quill. You'll never be human, but I'll get you to live like a normal human. I'll assure you, I'll find a way to do it. I have no doubt you'll make it. After all, writers always try to make their characters as realistic as possible, right? Thank you. 
I must say doing all that could take a long time. I have to do research on many things. No problem, I'll wait inside this library. In this library? You'll be alone. There are many interesting books and characters inside this library. I won't be alone. I suppose that's true. I have one last favour to ask you. Could you give me a new name? Oh, that makes sense. You'll no longer be Aries, so you need a new name. Hmm, a new name. It's hard to think of one. Any ideas, Luane? Yes! I got it right! <laughs> Aria is going to be Wendy. She's the character that's been announced by the developer of this game for a bit of time now. As soon, as soon as they mentioned about rewriting her as a different character, the two clicked together. Wendy, it's a gorgeous name. It's a good name. I like it. Now, you need to erase my memories and leave. It's a shame I won't remember you, but I can't wait to meet you all again. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you suffer because of my selfishness. I hope that from now on you can live your life as you want. I have experienced a similar dilemma when I was little. I wanted to change because I thought I would have more friends like that. But in the end, I learned that I must be who I want to be. Become the person you want to be, not the person that others want you to be. I told you that I had noticed certain differences between you and Arya, but I haven't told you the last difference. Arya and I were best friends. She was like a sister to me. But I don't feel the same for you. It's different. Luane, don't be rude. Shh, Clyde, don't be so dense. I think Luane is trying to say something different. Ah, I'm sorry, now I understand. But she won't remember anything you say now. I don't mind. It was fun to live this little adventure by your side. Thank you for everything. Enjoy your new life. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing everything possible so I can keep living with you. For giving me a chance to live a new life. I don't know what's going to happen from now on, but I'm glad I met you. I'll see you soon. Ah, I couldn't have ended more happily than that. Ah. That's the comedy section. That's at the back of a library. Ah, so the smashed thing at the very beginning was the quill. So Clyde smashed that and then rewrote the story. That was where the quill was all along. It was behind that bookshelf. Ah, are we an evil but wait is that costume different <laughs> giant bear bunnies I think this is just a slightly different version of the normal ending. Because her existence still is there, but it's just now a different person. Ha, oh, Luane. And your hand is better too, or your wrist. Is it finally time? Eh? Can you hear me? Are you okay? Can you hear my voice? Hey, wake up! Ooh. What? You finally woke up. Luane's older! How do you feel? Are you okay? Eh? Where am I? A forest? What were you doing sleeping in this forest? I don't know. 
I don't know where I am. You are in the forest near a town called Harlow. That's in England. There's a town in or a city in England called Harlow. It's in Essex. East Essex. Look, you see. Essex, yeah. What are you doing here? I don't remember. Try to remember something. I can't remember anything. It's like my mind is blank. Can you remember your name? My name? Oh, yes, I think I remember. Wendy. My name is Wendy. At least you remember something. Do you remember anything else? Something about you? I don't remember anything else. I don't know what I was doing here. I don't remember anything else about me either. I don't remember who I am. That's problematic. It seems that you have amnesia. Ah, uh, I think I remember something else. A dream. I was dreaming that I lived inside a library. But I don't think that's going to help me discover who I am. It doesn't seem like a very useful information. You still haven't told me who you are. My name is Luane. Do we know each other? Um. It's the first time I see you. Really? And what were you doing in this forest at this time? I was just passing by. Really? That's suspicious. Huh? Suspicious? Why? So you're saying you were walking through a forest at night and found a person sleeping on the ground. Mm. It is too suspicious. Maybe you hit my head and that's why I don't remember anything. I can't trust you. Do you really believe that? It seems you have a great imagination. Mm. Don't laugh. It's a very serious situation. I know, but I'm just trying to help you. I promise. Um. You don't seem to have any head injuries, if that's what worries you. Ah, oh, that's right. I apologise for accusing you of something like that. You don't have to apologise. It's completely normal that you're confused. So, what will you do now? I don't know what I should do. I don't know who I am. Do you want to get your memory back? I don't care. Huh? I know it's weird, but I don't have any interest in knowing about my past. Perhaps this is a new opportunity to start from zero, or something like that. Is it weird that I think that? There's nothing wrong with it. It's your decision. What do you plan on doing? I don't think you want to live in this forest. Now that you mention it, I don't have a place to live. Well, what, what am I going to do? You can stay at my place. What? You can stay there while you decide on what to do. I'm not leaving you here. I live in a humble house, so don't expect too much. I can't do that. I don't know you. Besides, I don't want to bother your family. I live alone with my sister. She would probably be glad to have company, since she always complains that I'm very boring. What kind of person would live with someone they just met? I don't know who you are. I don't trust you yet. What's your alternative? Um, staying at an inn? Do you have money? Let me see if there's anything in my pockets. They are empty. I have nothing. Ugh. See? Stop being so stubborn and accept my help. You don't seem like a bad person, but I can't accept your help. We don't know each other. Do you like books? Why do you ask me that all of a sudden? Maybe you don't look like a bad person, but you're a bit weird. Answer my question. Mm. Books? I don't think I'm very interested. I don't remember ever reading any though. I see. I'm a writer. A writer? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I said I don't like them very much. Each person likes different things. I haven't written a new book in a long time. For the past three years I've been busy doing something very important and I haven't had much time to write books. Mm. Even so, in the little time I had, I managed to finish a book that I started writing three years ago. You would do me a great favour if you read it and told me what you think. Since you don't like books, consider it the price for my help. Really? Do I have to just to read a book? Alright. That way I won't feel so bad for accepting your help. I don't know much about books though. I don't think I'll be able to be of much help. Don't worry about it. This is the book I want you to read. Let's see. Are we a story? Wait. It's way bigger than I was expecting. Do I have to read all this? Yes. Oh, 
I think I have a better idea to help you. Really? You mentioned that you're ra rather poor before, right? That means your books aren't very popular. I see you're not afraid to speak your mind. Uh, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm not offended. What you said is true. I write books because I like to do it, though. But if they're good, it's a shame that others don't know they exist. That's why I'm going to help you make your books become better known. There's a town nearby, right? It's a, better, it's a perfect place to promote them. I can go to the town square and talk about your books. Please read Aria's story. The new book of the young promising writer Luane. Something like that. What do you think of the idea? I think it's great. It's a wonderful idea. But you need to know what you're promoting. So you should still read it. Exactly. What? Seriously? I thought I could avoid having to read it. Now I have twice as much work. I take back my offer. You can't. I've already accepted it. You've already accepted it. Eh, okay, I'll read it. But if it's a terrible book, I'll tell you. Even though we just met, I will criticize any flaw. Get ready. Thank you, Wendy. That's just what I want. I'm the one who should be thanking you. If it weren't for you, right now I would be scared and alone. But you're hungry. <laughs> Was that your stomach? No, it must be some animal. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Let's go home. It's late. I'll prepare you something to eat. Tomorrow I'll show you the town and the library. I want to introduce you to some friends. Wendy? From now on, your new life begins. Your own story. You decide what you want to do and who you want to be. Are you ready? <laughs> I am. Aww. Aww, real story. <laughs> that is what you would call Japanese? That definitely sounds Japanese to me. Hopefully this is a new soundtrack, otherwise I might have to mute this. Anyways, let's look at the details. Ah uh, yes, the updated credits. That's Luna! That's Luna for Midnight Train! <laughs> what a way to put her in the game! Ah, <laughs> Delia, Clyde, Luane, and Wendy. Graphics! Not updated there. Ah, <laughs> ah, Clyde and Delia. Are they like a couple there? Because that looks awesome. Graphics. Flaming Teddy Productions. Probably put one too many dozos. <laughs> Wendy doesn't like books. Ah. <laughs> Scripts. Ah, oh yeah. Special thanks. Same people there too. Aww, <laughs> this is Wendy promoting the Wayne's book. That's wonderful. 
Aww. More special thanks, and I'm there too. <laughs> Aww. Oh, this is making me cry, but for the opposite reason. Ah. Oh my goodness sakes. What are you doing? Good ending. <laughs> oh dear. The floodgates are opening again. <laughs> ah, it's the same code. Lovely. Whew. That was worth it. That was so worth it. Hello, bunny. It's recommended to have obtained all the endings before accessing the additional content. Do you want to see the additional content? Yes, right now. We've seen all of the endings. All five. Hello. Oh, we're a book. Ah, oh, Delia. Oh, they've been given surnames now. Delia Blumenta. Likes books, music, tea, flowers, cookies. Dislikes loneliness and vegetables. I don't think we've seen her show that dislike of vegetables so or loneliness hobby playing a piano favorite book genre horror best friend clyde excuse me birthday on october the 10th well, that's only five days after my birthday age 17 although in a good ending it's 20. aria bellamy likes books just sunny days donuts <laughs> Dislikes, mathematics, lies. Hobby, reading. Favourite book genre, adventure. Best friend, Luane. Birthday, April the 23rd. Age 15. Luane Ingram. Likes books, cats, chess, snow, cooking. We did see his like, f or, and sorry, fondness of cats during the horror section. What was it? The yeah, it was a horror section. It was when he was cutting those rose thorns. Dislikes Okay, so it wasn't a facade. He actually doesn't like highs. heights. Art block. Hobby, writing books. Favourite book genre, mystery. Best friend, Aria slash Wendy in the good ending. Birthday, January 20th. Age 15, good ending 18. And last but not least, Clyde. Okay. This is why the town is called Harlow, because it represents that family's generation sort of thing. Before Clyde, obviously this village was built up, and so therefore the village itself would be to be called Harlow. The only reason why I thought Harlow, because it's a town in England, that's why. Likes, books, stargazing, flowers, arts, dislikes, bunnies. That's the polar opposite of Arya. Stress. Hobby, drawing, favourite book genre, romantic, best friend, Delia, birthday, August the 30th, that was a week ago, almost, oh, just over a week ago, the day of this recording, age 18, good ending 21, and this one is obviously Wendy's, oh, this is Lydia, okay, on behalf of Lydia, the developer, I want to thank you for playing Aria's story, thank you so much, aww, that's all very positive and stuff. You're very welcome. Very welcome, the uh, the translator of this game. What's your favourite ending? There's one called Trueni, but it's just a name. Each one of them are possible outcomes of the same story. I would say that last one really got me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you like that pose, sir? I drew it myself. I thought it would be a good idea for the library to have a mascot, so I drew that bunny. I even made a costume of it to promote the library. It's very popular with the children, but Dwayne and Delia always make fun of me when I put it on. But it doesn't bother me. I'll proudly wear it. I know it's ironic, having in mind that I've always that I'm always fighting with the bunnies at the library. 
But it's their fault for trying to eat the books. Do you know why the bunny appears throughout the whole game? Because the way for it would be a good idea to use it as the story's antagonist. Just like the other enemies, it was a character that appeared in the book the Wayne was writing. When I drew it, I had in mind an adorable bunny, but in the end became, it became the opposite. However, I suppose it still has its own charm. Oh, I just want to interact with a bunny itself. I don't want to interact and get the same dialogue again. Hi. Oh, a book. You want to talk with me? Choose a subject. Aria story. Do you want to know something interesting? <laughs> I was supposed to be the villain of this story. However, the developer couldn't find a good reason for me to do something bad to Aria. I mean, Aria reads books in my library. Shouldn't that make me happy? So she decided I would trap Aria in the library for a good reason. Um, Clyde. When the game initially came out, I only appeared in the final chapter. That was so cruel. Since then, developer decided to update the game with more scenes where I appeared. But I had to pay a very high price. In that update, a new bad ending was added. In that ending, the Wayne ended up with ended up writing a book called Clyde's Story instead of Arya's Story. I was the one dying in the end. Maybe it's best not to talk about something that's depressing. You know I like drawing, right? <laughs> you can see some of my illustrations in the game. In the library, you can read a book called The Four Fairies and another called White and Black. Those are books the Wayne wrote years ago, and I made the illustrations. Hmm? You think I draw them free? That's like w that's what the Wayne would like. When we were younger, he did my homework in exchange for my drawings. <laughs> now that I'm older, the Wayne brings me food instead of doing my chores. He is a surprisingly good cook. Uh, quill. If you had this quill in your possession, would you use it? <laughs> it's tempting. No. If you'd like, I could make a summary of its powers. Number one. You can create anything and erase it, however you can't erase a real person. Number two, the quill doesn't have the power to bring someone back to life. Number three, if many things are created, it'll be harder to control them. Number four, a good writer has more power over the quill. A bad writer tends to create defective things. That was how Clyde Alternatively, for the perfect ending slash bad ending, created a defective aria, but of course she camouflaged it for the whole time, until the very, very end. Number five, if you create a living thing, it may act on its own. It's recommended to create only inanimate objects. The quill is a very mysterious object that has been studied by my ancestors. There are many things we still don't understand about it. I would like to discuss about Arya. It's so hard for me to overcome her death. Arya changed my life, and I never got the chance to thank her. Ever since I was born, I was destined to become a librarian. But I hated books. Mm -hmm. You want to know how Arya made me change my opinion? She knew I liked drawing, so she asked me if I wanted to illustrate a book. It was a book Luwain had written. I accepted, but in reality it was a trap. I had no idea about what to draw, so I decided to read the book. I thought that would help me. <laughs> when I started reading the first page, I couldn't stop until I reached the last one. I was completely hooked. I thought I hated books because the ones we were forced to read for school were really boring. Afterwards, I started liking the idea of becoming a librarian and the relationship I had with my father also improved. I know that in the game I seem really obsessed with Arya, but I would have done the same thing for Delia and Wayne. All of them are important to me. <laughs> if you have someone you value in your life, tell them before it's too late. You never know when it'll be the last time you see them. Hmm. Delia is the person I trust the most. When I told her about the existence of the Quill, she believed me. Any other person would have called me crazy. I also showed her the library that I had created. She was really surprised, but she didn't judge me. But I... 
I betrayed her trust. After that, I changed her memories without telling her. It would have been better to tell her the truth from the beginning, but I was afraid the plan would fail. When we came back to our world, I thought she was mad at me because she was avoiding me. In reality, she wasn't mad at me. She thought I didn't trust her, so she avoided me. She was sad, not mad. Sad, mad, bad. We talked it out and reached a conclusion. Sometimes we hide things to protect the people that matter to us. <laughs> but we decided that from that day forward, we wouldn't hide anything. It's easier to face your fears when you have someone by your side. Luane. Luane and I have very different personalities, so we argue a lot. But soon after, we got back to normal as if nothing happened. That's proof we get along. You know, Luane is very poor. On his birthday, we gifted him a new quill that he wanted. He couldn't stop crying and thanking us. It was really amusing. But I do feel bad for him. Delia's family and mine were, are quite wealthy, but he never wants to accept money from us. He is my friend. I want to help him. That's a very noble thing to do, friend. A very, very noble thing to do. Can we save in here? What's over this way? Aww. <laughs> Vesper had a wing kind of surprise. That was in 2017, if I remember correctly. Uh, piano that plays on its own. Violin. Delia. This tea is delicious. It's a shame you can't try it. Oh, you want to talk to me with me about something? Aria's story. Hmm. The game took around two years to be finished. It was the first game made by the developer. It was supposed to be a short game with a very simple story. Since it was her first game, she thought it would be best to start with something easier. But in the end, it became something a little more complex. It's an honour to appear in her first game. Aww. I heard she is making a new game. What was it called? I believe it was something about a train. Choo choo! I hope it's a game where the characters have a great time in their adventure. But I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. Ah, Are you trying to spoil something about that? Through the most part of the game, you've known me as someone called Narrator. It's so embarrassing. I hope I didn't bother you too much. Would I become someone like that if I haven't met Arya? It's scary to think about it. Have you ever tried to change yourself to fit in with other people? I don't think there's any problems with wanting to change, but you shouldn't do it for other people. You should do it for yourself. <laughs> I always try to become a better version of myself. There we go. For example, I hate eating vegetables, but instead of avoiding them, I am including them more and more in my meals. It's true that I don't have many friends, but the few I have are very important to me. And like me for who I really am. Quality over quantity. I didn't mean to select it again. I was hoping to pick... Uh... Delia. You know I'm a storyteller, right? Clyde sometimes organises events in the library where I tell stories to children. It's really fun. Sometimes I wonder what I should become in the future. Clyde will still be a librarian and in a way a writer, but I can't make a living as a storyteller. Maybe I should become an actress since I'm good at playing characters. Maybe I could act in theatres. But perhaps it would be easier to follow my family's business. I really like flowers, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to become a florist. Hmm. You should follow your own heart, as you already said. Luane. I really like talking with Luane, even though he is really quiet. Clyde and Arya are more outgoing, so sometimes it's nice to talk with somebody calmer like him. I believe he feels the same way. I couldn't interact with him much throughout the game because I was acting as the narrator. From the beginning he knew I, who I was, but he didn't tell me anything. He didn't tell anything to Arya. He kept my secret even though I was rude with him and Arya. <laughs> I feel very lucky to have a friend like him. Oh, you notice his white coat? I gave it to him. His previous coat was already too small for him. 
but I think he couldn't afford a new one. He is so grateful that he also wears it when it's autumn and spring. He even tries wearing it in the middle of summer. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out so well, Dwayne. You know, a thick coat in the, in the middle of the summer heat. No thanks. Oh yeah. Arya had a great impact on my life. If it wasn't for her right now, I would be a totally different person. She helped me understand that there was nothing wrong with me. In the game, Clyde made me forget about Arya, so I also forgot everything she had told me. That made my personality automatically change. My memories of Arya are really important to me, even though she is no longer with us. She still lives in my heart. Sometimes I will play the piano for her, in hopes that wherever she is, she can hear it. <laughs> I find it easy to express my feelings through the piano. You like the piano too? Clyde. At first I didn't like Clyde very much. His bold attitude bothered me. But now I admire his confidence. I feel like I have a lot to learn from him. I was the opposite. I was always saying negative things about myself, but every day he complimented me. Your hair is softer than usual. Your new glasses fit you well. You play the piano so well. Please play a song for me. At first I thought he was just making fun of me. But as time went on, I realised that he was serious. I don't think he. That, I don't think there was a day he didn't compliment me. It's not necessary now, though. I don't have a self-esteem problems anymore. Maybe now it's my turn to compliment him. You're a wonderful person who always cares for other people. Do you think I should tell him that something? Sorry. Do you think I should tell him something like that? Absolutely. <laughs> and you watching, you do that as well to your um, other half. Or just your family member. Tell them how much they mean to you. Though, he will probably answer something along the lines of, I'm happy you noticed how amazing I am. I already mentioned that. Uh, that's fine. Okay, this is the shortest part. <laughs> the shortest part. Hello. Hmm, if you want to play another game from the same developer, you should try Midnight Train. Uh, but I want to warn you that the story is gloomier and more complex. Here you have a summary of the game's plot. Luna is a traveller that is looking for a certain place. Suddenly, while she's travelling in a train, the people around her disappear and the train stops in a mysterious place. She finds there a pocket watch with some instructions. She needs to find the next train before time runs out or she will be trapped in that world forever. Very gloomy indeed. Very gloomy. Bears! I can barely stand it. Play! Fishy fish! Ah, That's wonderful. Hello, bear. Um... I believe I will do Arya's last. That's the perfect ending, quote-unquote. After the release of the game, the developer hosted a popularity poll. The most popular character was Luane. He is also the developer's favourite character. The romance chapter was the favourite amongst the majority. It was the longest and hardest to make. The true ending was the most popular. The poll included only the true ending, the normal ending and the bad ending, present in the first version of the game. And Luane as a more of a grown-up individual. Was there anything on this side? Wait, is this, there's this as well. Ah, uh, I think that was the poster that was released by the developer prior to the game's initial release. I do wonder why, though, why the rabbit is there. I think that's actually the mascot, actually. A big rabbit. Anything else in here? I like how those bears are overarching. Hmm, I should think about a story for a new book. What would you like to talk about? Which well, would you like to talk about something? Perhaps talking with you will help me get inspired. Aria's story. In this universe, I'm the one who wrote Aria's story. In your universe, the author is someone named Lydia. It seems that she also had a lot of problems writing the story. 
just like me. <laughs> Sense of big. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was probably why um, Luane is Lydia's favourite character. But don't question me on that one. Since the beginning, it was established that the game would be about a girl trapped in a library and her companion would be a writer. The story changed a lot, but in the end, it became what it is now. Luane. My role had always been, well, been to be the protagonist's companion. I'm the character who changed the least from the original concept. I was supposed to be older and taller, but I ended up as I am now. Oh, it makes me so disappointed to be short. Mm. Why does the author have to change her mind? I'm almost as short as Arya. At the start of the story, I wanted to kill Arya. With this appearance, no one would take me seriously. Hmm? You want me to tell you something else? I'm not that interesting, so I really don't know what else I could tell you. Hmm? At the moment, I live with my older sister. She has been taking care of me ever since our parents passed away. I like to think that now Arya is in heaven with my parents. At least she won't be alone. Hmm. Delia. Delia has always been supporting me, especially when Arya passed away. My parents died when I was young, so when I lost Arya, I distanced myself from both Delia and Clyde. But Delia still tried talking to me every day, even if she also felt really sad. She always showed me a smile. One day I saw her crying alone. When she saw me, she started smiling immediately. I realised I was being unfair with her and I told her my worries. I thought I was cursed or something because the people I cared about were dead. I was scared that the same would happen to Delia, Clyde or my sister. Delia hugged me suddenly without saying anything and I couldn't avoid crying in her arms. She added that even if it were true, she would still stay by my side and fight any curse if necessary. Obviously I didn't believe to be cursed anymore. I suppose I'm just very unlucky. However, her words were important to me. This like bonus room is very important to know a bit more of a backstory of each of the characters. Clyde. If you look up the word annoying in the dictionary, you'll just get an image of Clyde. <laughs> Seriously, it's always so loud. He is supposed to be a librarian. The polar opposite of loud. But in reality, he is really a good person. And a great friend. Even if we fight a lot. That just shows how good you two are when it comes to being friends. It shows that it doesn't matter what fights you get into. You will still mend yourselves at the end of the day. Do you remember the paper stars that were on the library's tree? Yep. There's a wish written in every star. It was Clyde's idea. The townspeople came to the library to write their wishes. I helped him make all the paper stars. Huh? You want to know my wish? My wish was to be taller than Clyde. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. But he is always picking on me because of my height. It's so frustrating. I'm sorry, I can't empathise with you because I am probably taller than Clyde is. <laughs> it's so frustrating when I can't reach a book from a shelf and he gets it from me. He always looks at me with a condescending expression while giving me the book. I hate it. <laughs> and Arya. Arya is a terrible writer, even after reading so many books. The first time I read one of her stories, I don't know how to tell her how bad it was. What she had written made no sense. However, she is so good at giving advice on how to improve my books. If I hadn't met her, I would have abandoned my dream of becoming a writer. Even though I can't see her again, I'm happy to have met her. All the memories I have of her will always be very important to me. But I won't obsess over the past. I must live on. I'm sure that's what she would like. Now I have to work hard for Arya's story to be a success. I'll become a famous writer. Good for you. Hmm. Beyond that door could be something else. Hello, what would you like to talk about? I have a lot of things I want to tell you. Aria Story. Thank you so much for playing Aria Story. It means a lot to me. As a reward, I'll tell you some interesting facts about the game. There are stories that seem adorable in the beginning, but eventually they become something darker and scary. Right? Well, this game is the opposite. At first it may seem a bit scary, 
but as you keep going through you start to realize it has a really beautiful and emotional story. emotional definitely beautiful definitely aria's story is not only the name of the game but also the name of the book the wayne was writing while within the game of aria's story in fact Luane only finishes writing it in the true ending and in the good ending. That's why you can only access this room once you've gotten one of those endings. Tell me something about yourself. I know that my personality is a little boring and I get easily scared, but I hope I wasn't a terrible protagonist. You won't. In the original concept, the story was a little different. I wasn't supposed to be dead. Why did I have to change? I'm a protagonist. I deserved better, Lydia. Anyway, you want to know more about me? Let's see. Oh, I was born in another country, but my parents and I moved when I was little, and then I met Luane and the others. A different language wasn't a problem for me, since I could speak three different languages. I'm even learning a fourth language. My objective is to learn at least five different languages. Imagine how many different books I could read and translate for even more people to be able to read them. It's so exciting. Oh, on the topic of translations, I want to give a million thanks to all the translators who translated the game into so many different languages. Thanks to them, more people were able to play Aria Story. Thank you so much. Uh, Luane. Luane was my first friend. When I was little, I thought I was weird since I was interested in things nobody else was, like reading and playing chess. The other children didn't understand my hobbies, so they made fun of me. I also liked to play, I just didn't read book all the time. But still, they thought I was way too strange and they ignored me. But then I met Luane, we liked the same things. We used to play chess while Lily, Delia and Clyde watched. The loser had to buy the winner a donut. <laughs> It was a really intense battle. Not a brag, but I have to admit Luane had to buy me quite a lot of donuts. Although, even when I lose, or was it even when I lost, he always offered me his donut. He is too kind. Um, Delia. I really admire Delia. Have you noticed how beautiful and mature she is? I love spending time with her. I never imagined I would ever have a friend like her. When I'm with her, I feel safe. My mum says one day I'll have to use glasses like her if I keep reading in the dark, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I find glasses really pretty, so I wouldn't mind using them. Yeah, but what do you want to preserve your eyes? And also, when you're older, your eyes will worsen anyway, so why would you want to do such a thing to yourself just because of a visual appeal? I mean, obviously me, you wouldn't imagine me without glasses, right? Because, well, you see me, you, you always see me normally with glasses on, not with glasses off. Because I've always had glasses. But Delia looks gorgeous with them. What kind of glasses would fit me? Maybe some pink ones to match with my eyes? Next time I go sleep over at Delia's house, we'll talk about glasses. Hmm, yes. I often sleep over at her house. It's really fun. Her room is huge. We'll talk about many things. Did you know Delia has a crush on... I oh, know that was a secret. I can't tell. Well, it's too late. Delia has a crush on Clyde. I think we already knew that before Aria said that. Uh, Clyde. When Clyde started working as a librarian, it was a disaster. He didn't know where each section was, and every time someone asked him about a book, he didn't know what to answer. I had to help him out quite a lot, and in the end, people ended up asking me instead of him. But he worked hard and learned how to become a good librarian. Besides his task as a librarian, he also did other things to improve the library and attract more people. Have you noticed that the library is full of plants and flowers? Well, in reality, almost all of them are fake. Clyde used them as decorations in order to make the library more special. We may live in a small town, but Clyde works hard anyway. In fact, his father told me that since Clyde became a librarian, more people have, become, have been visiting the library. It's so nice. Nah. Ah, there's the owl from before. Just like to look at that one last time. 
Hmm, is recommend to obtain the good ending before opening the door? Yes, I do. Ooh. The last part. <laughs> Wendy and Aria. That's so nice. Lovely. Hello. Do you feel like talking to me? Choose the subjects you prefer. Aria's story. That's the book the Wayne made me read. I don't get along well with books. I get distracted easily and I end up reading the same page a few times. I feel like I'm not helping much, but the Wayne doesn't seem to care. Honestly, he looks happy. He says it's ironic if I don't like books, but I don't get what he means. I wish someone could read them for me or make me a summary of a whole story. I waste so much time reading them. Oh, the book was amazing. I really loved the story. But don't tell the Wayne. If he finds out I like the story, maybe he will read, make me read even more of his books. That terrifies me. Well, now it's my turn to help him. If I have to read it, I'll make everyone read it too. I must think of ways to promote the book. I'll find a way for them to publish it, no matter the cost. Yes. Good ending. Initially, the game only had three endings. The good ending was added later in an update. Actually, the ending was going to be included from the beginning, but the developer scrapped it. So unfair. But I'm happy that she decided to add it after all. I can finally appear in the game. Oh, but technically I'm the person you were controlling through the whole game. So I've been in the game since the beginning. No, you won't. The only difference is that now you can see my true personality and appearance. Yes. Aria. I didn't get to meet her, but the others have told me about her. It's a shame what happened to her. When I visit her grave, I feel really sad for some reason. My heart hurts and I feel the urge to cry, even though I don't know her. I feel like I have some connection to her. Maybe I knew her before I lost my memory. Oh, many people have told me that I look like her. But after talking with me for a while, they always say that we are completely different. Honestly, that bothers me a bit. Everyone is always saying that she was a really nice girl and all. Do they mean I'm not nice? It doesn't matter. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm really proud of who I am. You should be. Ah, Wendy likes spicy food, rainy days, animals sleeping, dislikes books and nightmares. Hobby singing, favorite book genre, none. Um, best friend Luane, not surprising. September 30, if asterisk, uh, Wendy celebrates her birthday the day Luane found her. That's probably the best thing, really. Whew. Did I say Luane? Oh yeah, of course, because we said Arya. At the moment I made a living helping Luane. I want his books to become popular. Luane makes his books himself and donates them to the library. There only exists one copy of each. But if I could get them to be published, we could sell them and more people would return them. Would read them, sorry. Returning them is a bad thing, actually. You want to keep the book. I'm always thinking of new ways to promote them. At first I did it because he had helped me a lot and I felt like I was dead with him. But now I do it because he is my friend. I like helping him. It's true that reading isn't my favourite thing to do. So Wendy could be like a hidden fifth factor of books. There is the reader, Aria. There is the writer, Luane. There is the... There is the storyteller, Delia. Then there is the librarian, Clyde. And then there's the publisher or the um, marketing. The advertiser. There we go. The advertiser of the book so that more people can... Read them just like Aria is Wendy. It's true that reading is my favourite thing to do. 
but I do love seeing the joy in his face whenever he is talking about one of his books. He gets really happy. Usually I can't totally keep up with what he is saying, but just seeing how passionate he is over what he loves to do is really heartwarming. Hello, do you feel like- yep, of course. Delia. When Lorraine introduced me to Delia, we immediately became friends. We both love music. She enjoys playing the piano and I like singing. I don't know why, but she seemed surprised when I mentioned I liked singing. Sometimes we perform together. It's really fun. Ah, uh, it's nothing serious. It's simply a hobby of ours. You know what? I once wrote a song about Aria. I don't know her, but at the same time I feel like I understand her very well. It's hard for me to explain, so I thought it would be easier to make a song about how I feel. Delia helped me and we performed it for Clyde and Wayne. When I was done singing, I noticed that everyone was crying. Maybe it was a bad idea, but Delia told me they were tears of happiness, tears of joy. They were joyful tears. Overwhelming. Clyde. Sometimes I feel a little out of place because everyone likes books except for me. Luane is a writer, Delia is a storyteller, and, and Clyde is a librarian. Clyde told me that I shouldn't feel out of place. He says it's nice to have a friend who likes different things. He told me that before we met, they would always meet up at the library. Thanks to me, they are doing new things. The other day I made them come fishing. Lorraine and Clyde would compete to see who would catch more fishes. You want to know who the winner was? You? <laughs> yep, it was me, obviously. <laughs> Since I have amnesia, everything is new for me, so I enjoy trying out new things. On the topic of Clyde, he should really confess his feelings to Delia, don't you think? Huh? You don't know De Clyde likes Delia? <laughs> we knew the other way round, but we didn't know this way round. Do you know that Delia has a, that he has a crush on Cl No! And then this is the other way round. I just told you too much. My bad. I thought it was obvious. Don't mind me. I would ask you to forget what I said, but I know you won't. <laughs> didn't you know this was being recorded? Wendy, do you want to know more about me? Well... Me too. I can't tell you much because I don't remember anything about myself. Either way, it doesn't matter. My new life started when Luane founded me in the forest. Of course I'm curious about my past, but my heart tells me not to obsess over it. I am eager to live and do many things. I don't want to lose time stressing over my past. Though, I still can't understand how I could only remember my name. It's weird, no. Mm. Wendy. At least it's a pretty name. I told Wayne I really loved my name and he got really happy. I wonder why he seemed happy for that. Sometimes it can be a bit weird. If you say so. But I find that to be a very, very wonderful personal touch to all this. This is it. That's the end. That is... The update to Arya's story finally ending. It was wonderful too. <laughs> Aww. What are we? Aww, look at that! Aww. Bravo. Look at all their smiles. <laughs> Whew. This has been a wonderful journey, folks. It really has been. I am in awe of this update. I don't know how the developer made Aria's story even better, but they have managed to do that. And with the inclusion of Wendy, it really is like it's still Aria, but a more purple version rather than a pink version of Aria. So we have... The storyteller, the librarian, the reader, the uh, the writer, and the advertiser. The one who promotes the book to others for them to read and know about. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much to 
everyone who has supported me over the years. Thank you so much to the developer of this game for everything they put in, really. And thank you to them for allowing me to have this opportunity for putting the game out early before the public release. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy, but I'm also a little sad at the same time. This was so nice. This was so good. It was so heartbreaking at the same time, too. And that's when you tell when a story is really good, because it, it really gets to you. It gets to you there. Not here. Of course it gets you up there. But mostly it gets you here. Where the source of love really is. But thank you so much for watching guys and have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.